What if you could multiply your strawberry crop from something like this to something like this? Well, you can. Sweet, juicy strawberries for free, for life? Yes, please, if you know a few tricks of the gardening trade. We're going to look at three ways to grow more strawberries, from seeds, by division, and my favorite, using these runners. Come on, let me show you how. The first way to grow strawberries is from seeds, and you can see here that the seeds form on the outside of the berry. Now it's a really fun project to save these seeds and then grow them yourself, but it does take a little bit of time. And because most strawberries are modern hybrids, there's a very high chance that the seedlings you get won't be anything like the parent plant. So if you do want to grow from seed, maybe buy purpose-sold seed packets instead. If you haven't got any strawberries and you want to grow quite a lot on the cheap, then sowing seeds could be the way to go. Buying a named variety of seeds like this means they will come true to type. Now to sow them, I'm just sowing them on the surface of pre-wetted potting mix, and it's as simple as that. Grow your young strawberries on in a bright position but out of direct sunshine, and then acclimatize them gradually to the outdoors before planting them out about 30 centimeters or one foot apart. You can actually go a bit closer if they're in a container. I've got three strawberry plants in this one, for example. Strawberries can also be grown by division. The crown of the plant here naturally produces more and more sections to it and we can just carefully tease these apart into separate divisions to then pot up into potting mix to grow on and then replant. However, I'm not a big fan of division because you've got to dig up the plant and then tease them apart and often one or more of the divisions get damaged that way. It just makes little sense too to dig up plants when you can just as easily grow them from their runners. So let's move swiftly on to our third best and easiest way to grow strawberries from runners. If you've ever grown strawberries, you'll probably be familiar with these long, wiry stems that race out from the center of the plant. These are what our runners are, and it's the most efficient way the strawberry reproduces itself. What we're actually seeing here are stolons. Botanically speaking, that's what they are, and they're creeping horizontal stems that root at intervals along their length where you get these little clusters of leaves. Now we can use this naturally occurring habit to grow more strawberry plants, either to replace existing ones or to expand our strawberries to a new patch in the garden. Growing strawberries from runners is pretty much bulletproof. And the great thing is you will get identical plants because they're coming off the parent plant, so their genetics are exactly the same. So you know you're going to get what you're after. Only take runners from healthy plants because you don't want to pass on any diseases or viruses to the offspring. And only take runners from plants that are at least one year old because younger plants should really be concentrating on beefing themselves out. So you want to cut away any runners from those young plants. I'm going to be rooting my runners into pots of potting mix so I can grow them on, then cut them free from the parent plant to transplant elsewhere in the garden. I'm using pots, so the first thing is to uh, fill them with our potting mix. Firm it down like that, and then we'll give them all a good water once they're filled, just to pre-wet them. That's our pots ready. Now we need to produce little pins to secure the runner down onto the potting mix so they make really good contact. You've got a few options here. I use this thick gauge wire, I've got a little roll of it here, but you could use an old coat hanger, for example, that would work really well. Just cut off sections like that, and then just bend them into the shape of a pin like that. So we need a few more of these. I'll just get on and do those now. Okay, let's pin down our runners. So what we're working with here is, as I said before, these little clusters of leaves on the uh, wiry stem like this and we want to pin this down into our pots of pre-prepared potting mix. Now sometimes, like in this case here, you might actually see some roots already growing, which is great. It means it's really raring to go. So to pin it down, just take your pot of potting mix, push it down so the leaves are facing upwards, and then use your pin to really hold it down. You want a really good contact with the potting mix. Don't be afraid to push it down so it's properly pinned down. And 
we've got the leaves pointing up, the roots going down, so that will grow away nicely now. If you've got lots of runners, like we have here, you sometimes get a secondary cluster of leaves, also called a node, coming on from the end there. You can also pin that down, so you're getting two little plantlets off one runner, or it's probably best, because we've got plenty here, just to cut off the rest of the runner to concentrate all of the plant's energy into growing this one plantlet here. Let's pin the rest of them down. Here's another. Again, we've got little roots here. In it goes and pin it down and then remove the rest of the runner. Perfect. Runners are nice and flexible, so if you're just expanding your strawberry patch further in the same area, just flex the runner to where you want it, hold it in the ground, and then just pin it down directly into the soil and it'll root just there. And again, once it has rooted, you can separate it from the mother plant and you've got a new plant here. In general, if you don't want to create new plants from runners, then it's always best to remove them, no matter the age of the plant, so you keep all the plant's energy within itself to give it the oomph behind it to create more flowers and, of course, delicious berries. Now, the way to think of these runners connecting to our nodes here of clusters of leaves is like a bit like an umbilical cord. It's getting all the energy from the mother plant to feed the baby. So you want to keep this on until the runners have definitely rooted. This usually takes between two and three weeks, but I'd leave it another week or two on from that, so say up to a month before you make that cut from the mother plant. If it's dry, help your runners along by giving them a water from time to time to encourage those roots to form. There are a couple of ways I like to tell whether the runner has definitely rooted. I look for strong, fresh growth, and if I turn the pot over, you can see here there are roots just poking out of the drainage holes here. Now if I take it out of the pot, ah, bingo, there we go. Look at that, that's a great root system. That's rooted beautifully. So this one is ready to cut off from the parent plant. So I make the first cut right up against the plant there. That's now the separate plant. And then just cut this rest of the runner off like that, right down to the mother plant, and that can go on the compost heap. I brought you down to look at this runner here. I've tried to root two plantlets coming off it. If we take a look at the one closest to the plant, you can see it's already started to root really beautifully. So that's just great. But let's look at this one further on. Well, it's not rooted nearly as well. It's got roots coming, but it's nowhere near yet. So I could sever this one off here because that's rooted, but then this one wouldn't be getting the support it needs. So I need to keep them both attached until this furthest one from the plant has fully rooted. So that's one reason why you might want to do just one plantlet per runner. Once your strawberries are ready to plant, you want to choose a sunny, well-drained, fertile position to plant them into. Keep your plants well watered and then start feeding them once they begin to flower, usually around next spring. If it's towards the end of the growing season, then maybe put them somewhere sheltered like a cold frame or greenhouse still in their pots and overwinter them and then plant them in the spring once it has warmed up. Now, strawberry plants do tend to run out of steam after three or four years and the fruit production really drops off. So growing them from runners like this is a fantastic way to keep those plants coming and coming year after year, season after season. Really, growing strawberries this way couldn't be easier and you'll get your strawberries to keep on going far into the future. Juicy strawberries for free for life. Now tell me, what's your favourite variety? Let me know in the comments below. If you love garden-grown fruit, you're going to love our next episode. We'll be looking at how to grow currants. Black currants, white currants, red currants and everything in between. Just yum. You really won't want to miss it. So please do check your subscribe and have turned on notifications so we can let you know once it's out and ready for you to watch. Please do drop this video a like on your way out today and thanks so much for your company. I look forward to catching you next time.